scared. It's a plane! It what is that? The flying gazelle. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's the Flying Kozzle. Uh Today, uh, I'm just gonna run around. I'm gonna go to Michael's real quick. Um, I'm probably gonna go to Woodcraft, of course. And then uh, I got a, I bought a Ryobi bandsaw that I will put together today. That's going to speed up my pen making process and be a little bit safer. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if I want to go to Menards yet and get a new work, get another workbench or not. Uh, I might just try to take pallets apart and make a table for my miter saw and possibly for this uh, bandsaw. But we'll see. So I'm waiting for my truck to warm up because it's freaking cold. It's like 60, 70 degrees, and now it's down to 20, 28 degrees, which is nice. So, uh, yeah, busy day. So I decided not to go to Woodcraft today because I want to try to make my own pen blanks and then turn something from those, even though it might take a day for it to uh, set. But I went to low. Wait, where did I go? No, I went to Michael's. I saw someone post pictures of these little art easels, so I decided to get some in regular and black. Then I did go to Lowe's just because it was right there, and I needed some new sanding paper. Oh, and I got popsicle sticks to mix the uh, acrylic from uh, Michael's. I got sandpaper for my sander and screws because I'm going to try to make something. And then I decided to go to Meyer, uh, get some. Uh, pasta stuff, pot ready thin spaghetti, love it, parmesan cheese, but like the shredded, alfredo and marinara, cause those are just the bomb.com, chicken to go with the pasta, and then I got a nice heaping pack of two pounds of salmon that I'm going to cook for myself for lunch, cause my mom doesn't like salmon, so I'm going to start cooking that salmon. I'm gonna record how I how you get the gozzle special for salmon and chicken. Cause I do the same seasonings for both. So yeah. Actually I'm gonna meal prep that chicken. I'm gonna put some put it in a baggie and Olive Garden Italian dressing. I'm gonna go get my tripod. I'll be right back. So to go with the salmon, I got this broccoli cheddar rice. Uh yep. Just gonna wait for that to start boiling, pour it in. Uh, set this chicken off to the side. So, let's go ahead and get the salmon ready. Normally with salmon I don't use the cookie sheet, but uh, I got a nice hefty two pound filet of salmon, so. Then you just kind of roll it up, roll the sides up, make a little boat. Whew. Then you add the salmon. I always like to add the salt first. Get a nice good coating of salt. Then you get a little bit of olive oil just to help it cook. Kind of try to pour it in. I pour it in the middle so it kind of falls over both sides. Then the best ingredient there ever was garlic pepper. Get a nice healthy coating of that on here. Depending on how spicy you like it, because this stuff adds a little bit of kick to it from the pepper. But I kind of like it spicy, so I always add a nice healthy coating to it. And garlic powder. Just another nice little coating. And onion powder, of 
course, wrong side. And then red pepper flakes. Again, you can add more or add less depending on how spicy you want it. I don't. Know, I didn't add any lemon juice today. I kind of like it that the way it, the way it is right now. So as you can see, a little bit of white, onion powder, and garlic powder. So red pepper flakes, garlic pepper. Uh, just waiting for the oven to heat up and that to start boiling. But now we can do the chicken. And I'm just gonna get the large bag, large baggie, and Olive Garden Italian dressing. And I'm gonna do a little bit of magic. Pop. I know I said I was gonna do magic, but I had to move the pan over there to cut the bag open, wash the chicken, cut some stuff, cut some bad spots off. Eh. Come on, Jordan, you can do it. Ah, my hands are still wet. Try to do this one handed. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Water's boiling, oven's almost done. Oh, nice. Okay, got the broccoli going. I need to get the lid out. Salmon is good to go. I forgot how much two pounds of salmon was. I'm not gonna eat all that. Oh, turn the light on. Oh, yeah. So, let's see. Before I forget, I got some new shoes. These just Ultra Boosts. It's so funny, because whenever I put them on, and I see Boost, on the other shoe it says Boost, I think of the uh, high school DXD, Red Crimson Dragon, Boost, Boost, Boost. I'm gonna put it in a clip, like, right here. Oh, yeah. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna finish cooking and then show you the end result and I'm probably gonna have to eat it. And then go out in the garage to put together my bandsaw. Cool, cool. Ooh, salmon's done. Rice is done. Pretty sure the salmon's done. Let's see if it comes off the scales. Comes off fairly easily. Yeah. That's one way to check it, but then like when all that white stuff starts coming off. That's how you also know that it's done. All right, so I got my bandsaw set up. Looking nice. Ooh, I'm gonna have to plug it in here in a sec. Then I didn't record it, but I threw together a little stand made out of pallet boards I had. Put my sander on there. That's still in the same spot. And I put my miter saw here for now because I'm tired of getting on the ground and trying to cut stuff. Um, only problem with this is I don't have a problem with this part, it's just if I try to cut something that way and it's too thick, too tall, it'll hit my clamp, so I'll have to take that off, but for now, easy enough solution, shot vac, everything else is still pretty much the same. I took that thing out because it was scary, so yeah, awesome, I love it. Thank <laughs> you.